G'day guys, it's Ardent Vision here. Thanks for tuning in. Putting together a quick tutorial video today on the back of something I did uh, nearly a year ago on this channel, which was helping people get set up with their Streamlabs OBS for streaming their PS4, PS5. Now, this is a pretty targeted video that's gonna be addressing a question that comes up a lot, which is getting your audio sorted. And more specifically, getting your audio sorted when you're using a headset with your PS5 for streaming in Streamlabs OBS. So, if that isn't of interest for you, you can save yourself some time and jog on right now. However, if this is something you want some help with, then hopefully this video will be of use. Now, before I get into it, if you are interested in learning more about the setup and, and some general tips around streaming PlayStation and Streamlabs OBS, check out the original video. I'll make sure I post a, a link in this one here. But I want to talk a little bit about the setup, uh, talking really using PS5, of course, to stream the games. I've got a laptop set up here, which is running my Streamlabs OBS. Now, we're going to be talking about using the a headset. So I've got my Pulse 3D gaming headset, and you're going to need a chat link cable. So the uh, Elgato chat link cable is what you require. Look, it's not ideal. Lots of cables in this setup, but it's really what you need if you want to be able to record game audio, uh, chat audio, wear a headset and have all of that working properly. Now, the challenge is Streamlabs changed something in their software in recent versions that removed the ability to set your Elgato game capture. And I'm using an Elgato HD 60S. That needs to be set to analog. You cannot record your PlayStation audio wearing a headset until you turn your Elgato device to capture analog audio. And this presents a lot of problems for a lot of people. It used to be able to change this directly in Streamlabs OBS, but they somehow removed this feature. And so now we've got a bit of a workaround scenario, but I do have something that will work and it'll work for you too. Uh, so you just follow the steps that we go through and you should be able to get set up and running. Um, and I do want to have a look at the specific versions I've got going. I'll give you some of that info. Um, let me share my Streamlabs OBS and we'll get stuck into the detail. Okay guys, so I'm sharing my Streamlabs OBS uh, setup here. Um, and I've got just God of War um, on my PS5 coming through. Um, I've got version 1.11.2 version of Streamlabs OBS. Uh, so which I believe is probably the latest version or there nearly of. Now there's definitely something that's changed along the way, um, which as I mentioned, remove the ability to change the output of your Elgato game capture to be analog. So let's be clear about something here. If you are just using a HDMI and you're outputting the audio through your TV or through a monitor and you're not using a headset, then you won't need to do this because by default, your Elgato will output the audio through the HDMI connection and uh, Streamlabs OBS will pick it up. Um, and so you can see that here, if we look down at my Elgato mixer, um, and I just unmute it, you'll see that I'm getting um, output. Um, so I'm not, I haven't got any headset turned on here. This is coming through my monitor. You might be able to even hear it in the background. The Streamlabs OBS is picking that up. Now I've resolved to go live and stream this. You know, the audio would come through for the people viewing the stream as well. Um, it's probably worth noting though, and I did mention this in my other one, you're nearly always going to want to add a gain to your audio. Um, so you come over the little, little setup icon next to the Elgato mixer um, and come down to filters um, and you can just add a filter here. Um, and I've just got a basic audio gain filter and I've set my gain to be 16.3. That just out there, uh, elevates the output volume of that PS5 audio. So that's definitely gonna be important. I'm just gonna mute that again. Now, a big tip as well with Streamlabs OBS, guys, always check your mixer output. Make sure you're seeing some sort of output level there. That's gonna be a really big indicator um, to let you know that um, you have successfully got some output audio there. Now, the challenge is, is if I was to connect my headset um, and I've just got a the Pulse, 
3D headset. Um, decent sort of, you know, pretty cheap mid, mid-range headset. If I was to turn that on with um, that uh, audio setting output there, if I just turn that on, you'll see it kick in um, and it will be connected in a moment. There you go. So now I can see my PS5 has detected my headset. My headset's enabled. I've got audio coming through my headset now. You can immediately see there is no audio coming through the Elgato um, output here. And that's because as soon as you turn on the headset, the PS5 stops outputting audio through HDMI. It's now outputting audio through the Bluetooth headset. It doesn't do both. It doesn't do audio through the HDMI and the Bluetooth headset. So what do we do? What's the setting? If you watched my previous video and you've added your Elgato um, game capture source, and if you're, you're not sure on how to do this, definitely refer back to the old video. But once you've got it in there and you've got your, your video um, output there in Streamlabs, I'm just gonna right click on this and I can choose properties. My previous steps were you would hit the configure video option here on the game capture um, source. If I hit configure video, it takes a moment and it outputs um, a small little pop-up, which hopefully you can see here if I just move the webcam out of the way so you can see that there now. It would usually pop up here another tab which would relate to audio. And if you watch my previous video, you'll see that tab. And now if you check this out and a few people that have commented on that video are like, where is the setting? It's gone. It has gone. Elgato have removed it, um, or more so Streamlabs OBS have removed it, probably something to do with updating drivers, etc., etc. So now there's no way that I can find in Streamlabs OBS to set that from HDMI output to analog output. So what do we do? You're going to have to download another piece of software. And I know what you're saying. I, I, I said that you could do it all with one piece of software in my previous video, and yeah, you can. You need another piece of software. Um, it's free. Um, it just comes with your Elgato game capture device, right? So you just go straight on the Elgato website and you want to download the 4K capture utility, which is this. And you can see that it's I've, it's very black because my Streamlabs OBS has hijacked the video output. It's not being output through my 4K game capture. You can't have both of them running. If you open up Streamlabs OBS first and then you open up your 4K game capture utility, it's going to hijack the video. I'll show you how to get that back super easy. But there is just one setting that you will want to change in the 4K capture utility, which will set the audio to analog on your Elgato capture device. You come up to the small cog icon there and you go to open preferences and it's straight on the screen audio input is not going to be HDMI audio. You're going to flip it to analog and you're going to say, okay, apply and okay. That's it. Settings, H, uh, audio input from HDMI into analog. And now you will be able to plug in your chat link cable. So we can plug that into our 3D Pulse headset. And we can plug it into the other end of the chat link cable into our PS5 controller. And as you can see, I've now got some audio output through my Elgato device. Got my headset capturing the audio. I've got it connected through my controller, which is what's required using the Elgato chat link, but I have audio output coming through on my mixer. Now, just a quick tip. If you do turn on the 4K capture utility while you've got Streamlabs open, which you're gonna need to have both of them open just for that initial setup, and you find your video has gone blank, that's fine. You can just come back in here Come to your Elgato game, game Capture, go down to Properties and just deactivate and reactivate the Game Capture device. And then that will give Streamlabs OBS the preference and then the audio will be there. So now if I'm looking at this, I've got my audio, I've got my headset ready to rock and roll, I've got my chat link cable connected and I validated that I have Elgato 
output audio, I'm ready to go live and I'm ready to start streaming. I haven't found a way to do that setting now inside of Streamlabs OBS itself. Um, it seems to have removed that interface between the game capture and Streamlabs. So now I have to use the 4K capture. The good news is though, once you've made that setting change, you can change, you can just close the 4K game capture utility and you know keep using OBS, uh, Streamlabs OBS as you would. It was only if you want to switch back to HDMI that you're going to have to reopen the 4K game capture utility to be able to do that. So guys, a bit of a workaround. Hopefully this answers questions to people that have looked at my video previously and not been able to get the audio working. This should hopefully round out what's required now in the latest version of Streamlabs to get that PS5 audio happening while wearing a headset using the chat link cable. Again, it would be easier if these technologies just were a little bit more seamless um, and allowed you to use your headset, but it is what it is, guys. This is a workable solution, a little bit of tinkering and you'll be up and running in no time. I hope this helps someone out. Appreciate your time. Check in soon.